Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to travel to the Mudwater River and test out our luck. Today we've got our rig set up with just a simple setup for catching some nice catfish. A uh, tidy float 21 foot 3 inch rod, a uh, Callisto extra small 1000, just some fluoro 0 0.008 6 pound line, uh, chubby bobber number one hook right here, small cut bait because that's what the uh, the catfish seem to like over there. That cheese. That or cheese. So we're going to test out both of those. And let's go ahead and travel right down there. Alrighty, here we go. So let's go ahead and test our luck. Have it right over there. Alrighty, here we go. So from what I've heard, if you just cast right in the simple direction of uh, the, see that kayak right there? We're going to cast like right over to that kayak. So let's go ahead and cast right over there. There we go. Beautiful cast. Alright. Reeling in a bit. Let's get a bit closer. Alright, we got our drag down, all that stuff down just in case we catch a big fish. Don't want to break the line. None of that. <clears throat> And let's, uh, this is a waiting game. This is a waiting game. And we will be waiting for a fish to bite the lure, just as in real life. So yeah, now, now we wait. You know what I've just realized? I think our bait is too high. Obviously catfish are on the bottom of the river. What is it at? Right, what's the highest we can go to? Obviously this is this is some deep water here. No. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go with uh, let's try thirty. Okay. Let's go with short cast. And that literally just Okay, there we go. Whoop. Yeah, we're still at it at 20. Alright, let's even put it even lower. Let's go to uh, 40. A hit. Hmm. 40 is not even low enough. Alright, let's try it again. 50. Yep. Mm. 50 is still not low enough. Well, let's go with 50. Alright. Go ahead and rig it up for far casting. Cast right. Right. Right over there. That's nice. And now. We wait. This spot really isn't working out for us. That's a shame. Let's go ahead and switch spots to a uh, an area a bit farther out. And I really thought this was going to be the precise location. I mean, let's check the time of day. Oh, no wonder. It's horrible fishing.
Yeah, alright. Okie dokie. Let's get that. Honestly, I want to see what the deepest you can go is. Alright, let's try it out at 80. Eighty is too deep. All right, eighty is too deep. Okay, let's try seventy. Seventy is too deep. And sixty. Sixty is still too deep. Fifty. Seems like 50 is the uh, just the right number. Let's go ahead and recast. I'm not really a fan of that position, but uh, let's go. I think I'm right in front of the lily pads. Obviously, the river it's moving. It's gonna drift a bit. Oh dear. <laughs> There's that water. Is not as deep as we first imagined. So let's 35. That that's pretty good. You know, we're going for some deeper fish. There we go. Looks like our barber's already moving. Unless <laughs> that's just the water, of course doesn't tend to be. Let's keep it here just for a bit. See uh see our luck. Let's see you can see it shaking a bit. Come on, fish. Bite on. You know, I feel like there's no fish there. Yeah, there was no fish, because it would have told me I went too early. Let's try 30. All right, 30 should be pretty good. Muddy, uh, muddy bottom. Let's go right there. All right, that's nice. Okay. But, yeah. See, look. The uh, bobber's not even messed up at all, which means we have plenty of water to set our hook in. Plenty of deep. Or 30 inches of water. <laughs> Seems how funny how. I mean, that's really not that uh, not that long, not that deep. Cause uh, in real life I do do, do some um, saltwater fishing myself, and obviously 30 inches in saltwater is nothing compared to 30 inches in uh, freshwater. Cause of course you barely can even get a boat. And 30 inches with most saltwater boats, you know, a couple being able to fit in there, perhaps maybe a skiff and a foot of water. That's that's about two feet of water. But uh, oh, you can see. Check our lure on screen, like actually in the water, not the one on the top right. It it seems to be moving a bit. It was twitching here and there. Obviously, the oh 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 oh. Hey. hey. That is our first fish. There we go. Black ball head. Just what we came here for. Sweet. So they are here. And we do have the right distance for our uh, our bait and our hook. Sweet. All right. Let's uh, let's test it out. Let's go back another time, right to where we were again. Maybe that'll be our lucky spot here. But uh, back to what I was saying. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? I can't quite remember. Um, just yesterday, I actually went uh, trolling for Spanish mackerel uh, out here in the Chesapeake Bay. <laughs> uh, caught mostly bluefish, only one uh, keeper for mackerel, Spanish mackerel. Took us five hours to keep one. So, uh, yeah, that, that was always fun. It's always nice to go out on the boat, you know, during the weekdays. There's nobody out there. Of course, everybody's working. But uh, there's a tournament this um, this Saturday for Spanish mackerel. However, I'm not going to be able to go. I'm going to be back home, away from the water. I'm afraid to say, no fishing for me. Well, of course, you can count the game. 
as close as you get to fishing from anywhere. And you know it hasn't been that bad. Um, I uh, I recently started out. I say maybe two weeks ago, a week ago. You know, a rookie mistakes. I obviously thought, you know, every sort of every like you had this one bait that worked magically gets you up through all the uh, lakes, rivers, ponds. And I got to like the third one. I can't remember what the third map is. I've been there in a while, just trying to get up some money since I <laughs> I have none. But uh. Yeah, I made those mistakes. Obviously, I've done my research and figured out what to do now. Um, if you want to, you can always go check my video, which I will be releasing soon if I haven't already released, on how to make quick cash in the Lone Star Lake catching spotted bass. Very easy, very simple. I think you have to be at least level 6 or 7, not sure, to get the certain equipment that you need. Um, just a casting spoon, a couple of reels. Oh well, I won't ruin it. You just got to go check the video out. It'll be up soon. It is if it isn't up already. Uh, I think we made one thousand two hundred dollars, which I mean, which isn't bad for thirty minutes of catching. Uh, but yeah, but let's focus on uh, catfish. We've uh, caught one so far. I know, it's not the greatest amount of fish. Let's actually uh, reposition. We're not getting very much lug. luck. Sorry, dragonfly. Oh! Oh, that's a person. There's a fish jumping. Alright. Let's uh, cast. Hmm. Obviously, it's deeper wherever we cast. Let's uh, up it to 40 and cast like right about there. There we go. Sweet. Stand straight upright. 40. Hopefully that's near the uh, the bottom of this river. I guess it would be. It wouldn't be a river. It'd be more of a, a creek or a stream. But, uh, or very, and obviously a small part of the river. Because you look at rivers like the James, the Rappahannock, which are obviously much bigger rivers than this. When you get closer, like for the uh, James River, for instance, when you get down into the Richmond area, that is a uh, a much wider area down there. So, and then the Rappahannock, where we actually went fishing near for the uh, mackerel, Spanish mackerel, that we did a couple days ago, trolling, and uh, that's we did that right next to the mouth of the Rappahannock. Now, which was a lot of fun. Of course, fishing always is fun, you know even if you don't catch anything because you get to have the experience you know out there with all your friends co-workers you know whatever family but uh... yeah it was fun to say the least you know i think we've caught the lower the day maybe it's just been one of those days we can go ahead and uh... Let's go ahead. You know what I always get mad when it says, when you go ahead and pull your line in, you pull it in, and it says, oh, you pulled it too early. You know, that that stuff. <laughs> it's, it's upsetting to say the least, I'd say. But let's uh, go ahead and put the line leader to 50 inches. Try this out. Maybe that's too deep. No, 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 no. That works. Sweet. All right. Let's go ahead and sit that there. Let it drift a bit. See what we can catch. We may go try that spot over by the kayaks. Casting towards the kayaks, of course, in a bit. Since we can't really switch sides of the creek without leaving the creek and switching sides. You know. And since obviously you have to pay a bit more to get to this location versus Lone Star. You don't want to be leaving and then coming back and leaving, you know, because the prices start to add up. Unless you've got big cash. I mean, if you want big cash, just uh, just watch my uh, my Easy Cash Lone Star video that I will be releasing unless I haven't already released it. 
But, uh, whew. Man. I haven't been, I haven't been very lucky. <laughs> I'd say. Man. Let's, uh, let's try one last time over here. You know, we're gonna find the uh, close space because I've used only cast leaf pads like that fool did. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and cast behind him. Okay, so we won't. Yeah, that's a good spot. As long as it doesn't get stuck in the leaf pads. Oh, man. Oh, come on. There we go. Just realized that that is. I have my line leader set to too deep. Let's go ahead and recast. Hopefully, this is going to be the right length. Hey, nice. Sweet. We'll let that sit. And we'll uh, wait to see what we catch. Probably going to be our last cast for the video. Haven't been too lucky, but you know how this goes. You know, cast, hope for some luck. And my bobber is moving. No, oh, oh. Hey! Sweet! And it's a new uh, record for me. Black Bullhead. Nice. Worth some cash. Not much, but definitely worth some cash. You know, every bit helps. So this is just been what to show you what you can catch using my uh, my setup. Let's go ahead and check that again just in case y'all didn't know. This is a, uh, a size one hook. A uh, small cut bait. And a uh, chubby bobber. Pretty sure that's what I'm using. Along with some uh, six pound line. We haven't got anything that big yet. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's try the four hook. Alright. Let's try this. Let's see what we can get with this kind of hook. Let's obviously cast in the same, same somewhat, somewhat of the same area. There we go. And we'll spit that out. It's right there. Is that enough water? Come on. Uh, uh, no. 28. That's good. All right. Let's go ahead and cast that like there. It's really short, but oh well. Okay. Now we wait. Sorry about that. Graze the microphone. Gotta stay hydrated. Drink some water. You know what? I'm not happy with this cast. Let's try back here where we caught. Really, where we've caught, we caught the one fish back here, the uh, caught one uh, catfish back there. And that one catfish was bigger than the one we caught, way bigger than the one we caught beforehand. The one beforehand was only one pound, and the one just then was almost one and a half pounds. You know, and it's the difference in weight. And I have a strange feeling we're not going to make much. Uh, much profit <laughs> on this trip. Gonna have to go back to the uh, Lone Star Lake, catch some more bass. Again, if you ever have any, if you ever want to know how to make quick cash, check out my video, which I have to say again, which will be released if it hasn't been already. Uh, I'm not really sure when I'm gonna release this video, but uh, yeah, take a look, take a look at it. It's definitely some uh, useful information. But, uh, doesn't seem, I don't seem to be biting on this hook. <laughs> you know, I got this out of a reward. But, uh, doesn't seem to be working. Oh, come on. Get on snag. There we go. Alright. Well, uh, I think it's going to go ahead and end our video for now. Um, we, you saw what we caught. Let's go ahead and just check and see what we caught so far. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty sad. Only two fish. Definitely not going to make back what we spent to come here.
but you know, oh well. Caught some fish, that's always good, you know. It's all about catching the fish. You know? Uh, we've got all this other baits, all these other hooks, but just our setup, we've been using the uh, number one magfin hook, chubby bobber, small cut bait, a, uh, hold on, Callisto extra small, XS, not extra small, XS 1000 reel, Tele float 21 foot 3 inches rod, uh, and just some six pound fluoro zero zero eight line. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh thanks for coming along to come check out my video. Uh remember to like and subscribe. And thanks guys for for watching. Thank you and bye.